Hello, 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 and happy hump day. Hopefully all of you all are doing great out there. How's everybody doing? Happy Wednesday. Yes, it is another beautiful Wednesday. Uh, what's going on in your area? We had some storms here the last couple of days, but nothing like what's happening globally. Have you seen what's happening in Hawaii? Wow, that's all I can say. Thankfully, we're in a much safer part of the country. How y'all doing out there? We got some folks that's checked in early. Hello, Mr. Boy Richardson. Thank you for checking in. Hopefully, all is well with you. Hey, Miss Carol Gray. Hope things are going well with you. Uh, how y'all doing out there? Chime in. Let me know what's going on. If you get a chance, share, share, share the show. You know, we like to pass the word around to all of our friends about what's happening here. If you got some friends that you think might be interested in what we're doing here, just share the show on your page. Share, 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 share. I would greatly appreciate that. So how are things going? I have a couple of things going on in the next couple of days, but mainly uh, we got a new delivery this weekend that I think you guys will be very excited about. We're actually getting ready to debut it on today's show. So that's what's going on over here. I have a couple of things lining up for the fall, which I'll be letting you guys know more about as time goes on. Uh, but the main thing I got going on this week is I have an original show that'll be taking place at Davenport's in and Arts. We will be showing... Uh, about 24 of my small originals during that show. And yes, so if you get a chance to come out, if you're in the Baltimore area, it's right in the Hamden area of town. It's small originals by Poncho. That'll be happening on August 11th, Friday. It's a night reception. It's during the art walk around five o'clock in the evening. It'll be a nice evening out if you get a chance to come out. That's what I got coming up. Hopefully you guys are just doing well and uh I'll be keeping you posted on some of the new events that will be coming up in the next few months. Uh, other than that, uh, hopefully our signal is going to be a little more stabilized than it was last. We've been having some real uh, some Wi-Fi issues over the last couple of weeks. We haven't gotten to the bottom of it yet, but we're trying to figure it all out. Meanwhile, uh, that's what's for right now. How are you guys doing? Chime in if you can. We got some people that's coming to the room. Uh, just take your time if you want. Just if you're, uh, shout out, go to the comment stream and let us know what's going on. Meanwhile, I'll get into the rules and regulations of the show. You know, we will place the word, uh, the item number and the word sold in the comment stream. The show is being broadcast on four different locations. It's going to be broadcast on uh, my Facebook page with Larry Poncho Brown, another Facebook page, uh, The Art of Poncho and a third Facebook page of The Art of Punk Studio, a fourth location at YouTube. I see we got one of you from YouTube already this morning. Uh, those four locations, you can just go to the comment stream. You can enter the item number and the word soul with the number that corresponds with the image that we show you online, and that will get you the piece that you're interested in. That's simple as that. Just the item number and the word soul. You don't need to know any other specs. Uh, item number two is we are I have a $15 flat rate shipping per package. Uh, that's right, y'all. It's a $15 pack flat rate uh, unless you have two different, completely different shaped items that require two packages. Most of your stuff will be shipped in one package. We try to be as economical as we can with our shipping. So, But know that there's a $15 charge for any shipping. Uh, we got a couple of people that still come into the show. Uh, but that's more or less the house rules. If you are viewing from YouTube, make sure you uh, write down your items, write down your selections. Um, and put those in the, uh, uh, just email to me at larrypartridgebrown at gmail.com. Sometimes at the end of the show, we will lose the comment stream on YouTube, but we do not lose the comment stream on uh, uh, Facebook and Instagram. We're not broadcasting Instagram, but that's the way it rolls. So that's what's going on if you want to know the rules and regulations. So we do accept cash at, at dollar sign, the art of poncho. Remember to add $15 shipping and handling fee to whatever you order. Sometimes people move fast. They leave the shipping and handling off. We will get back looking for you for that shipping and handling uh, because that is an expense that we all have to incur. Meanwhile, I hope that our signal is doing better today. Uh, you know, that's one of the elements out of my control. Uh, hello, Ms. Rachel Braxton. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, that's what's going on right now, y'all. We got a couple people that are still coming into the room. Uh, if you want to let me know where you're coming in from, just uh, chime in on the comment stream and let us know where you're coming in from. What are you drinking and what are you eating? It's that time of the day. Uh, those are the house rules. Uh, unless you have any questions, you can put those in the comment stream as well. 
I will start off the show as you know we do. Item number one. Item number one, y'all, is got a little bit of a little thing happening here already on our item number one is something that we call the poncho hologram sticker. Poncho hologram sticker is a, it's, it's a three by three inch sticker of yours truly, and it refracts light. You can put it on the back of your, your, your jet pack, your iPad, your laptop, or whatever other electronic stuff you have. Just something for a little bit of fun. We've been branding ourselves, and this is just another part of that. Item number one is the poncho hologram sticker. If you like that sticker, just put item number one and the word sold. And you will receive that hologram sticker for just four dollars. That's right, y'all. Four dollars. Item number one and sold. And that item will be coming to you um to your mailbox. Hey, we got Miss Miss Jennings who's chimed in. Hello, Mr. Jennings. How are you? Thank you for chiming in. Uh, you know, the gallery is always alive every Wednesday, but I need you guys to start helping me out and passing the word around to a few of your friends so they can join us as well. Item number one is the Poncho Hologram Sticker. Guess what, y'all? That's right. It is that time of the year. Item number two. We just got our delivery of our My Soul calendars, which is uh, released every August or September. But this year, whoop, whoop, is on time and it's early. Uh, as you know, the last couple of years, our calendar has sold out. This is the 2024 calendar, the Color My Soul calendar. Um, this is everybody's first chance at seeing it. I literally just opened the boxes a few hours ago. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful piece, and I think that this is going to probably sell out rather quickly. Item number two, y'all. If you like item number two, the Color My Soul calendar, brand new for 2024. Hey, I know you're saying it's early, but these will sell out before Christmas. <laughs> That's what happened last year, and a lot of folks were looking for the calendar, and they couldn't find it. This is the Color My Soul 2024 calendar. If you want to get yours first in line, just put item number two and the word sold in the Color My Soul calendar. 2024 wall calendar will be yours for just $15. That's right, y'all. Item number two and sold, and the calendar will be yours. That's right, y'all. Uh, look, you got Miss Aether Reynolds. Thank you for tuning in. You know who stopped by the studio today is Miss Karen Wildbuster. She got her calendar already, first one on the block. So, hey, y'all, if you want to interested in being the first one to grab the calendar and hit secure yours long before sellout, item number two is the Color My Soul calendar, wall calendar 2024. If you like that, just put item number two and sold, and the Color My Soul calendar will be coming your way. Item number three. Today, we are doing a tribute to the many commemorative posters that I have done over the years. That's right, your item number three is part of a series of posters that I've done for music festivals, cultural festivals. And so today, we're going to do a whole series of posters that we've done for different events. Uh, these are all collector's items. Uh, the good thing about these commemorative posters is you can buy them and frame them as they are, or you can frame into the image. Same difference. You got a wonderful piece of art. Item number three is the Macy's Music Festival poster. This was done for Cincinnati, Ohio in uh, 2027. It was uh, a great festival. We also did the T-shirt for the show. This is the poster, the Freedom Press poster. This is actually done. I mean, I'm sorry, the Macy's Music Festival poster. Uh, you know, the, 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 the Paul Brown Stadium is where they normally have that um, event. Item number three is the Macy's Music Festival poster. If you like that poster, just put item number three and the word sold, and the Macy's Music Festival poster will be yours for just $25, normally $40. All of these posters will come signed by yours truly. Item number three and sold, and the Macy's Music Festival poster will be coming your way. Hey, Miss Brad, thank you so much for tuning in. She just purchased the calendar 
Item number two, thank you so much. Item number three is the Amazing Music Festival poster. If you like that poster, just put, and you want a nice collectible, just put item number three in sold. And the Macy's Music Festival poster will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number four. This is the Freedom Fest poster, which was done for the Underground Museum in, uh, and Freedom Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. This is also done in 2027, very popular poster that was uh, released at the week, opening weekend of the uh, Underground uh, Railroad Museum. Uh, item number four, this is done for Cincinnati, Ohio. This piece right here normally um, sells for $40, but today on Punchathon number 92, y'all, we've made it 92. That's right, y'all. We're going to keep on doing it as long as you keep chiming in. Item number four is the Freedom Fest poster. If you like that piece and you want to add it to your collection, just put item number four and sold, and the Freedom Fest poster will be coming your way. Remember, these can be framed up to the border, or it can be framed right into the image, y'all. So you can have two different ways you can frame these. These normally sell for forty dollars today on Punch Thon. Ninety-two, you can have them for twenty-five dollars. All of the posters will come signed by yours truly. Item number four and sold, and the Freedom Fest poster will be coming your way. Item number five. Item five is the Second Street Festival poster. That's right. I did that poster for five years in a row. And I think this was, if I'm not mistaken, it might be the first poster I did for them. I had a, this the Second Street for, uh, Festival takes place in Richmond, Virginia, um, in the, in the historic Jackson Ward area. That's right, y'all. The Second Street Festival poster. This is uh, original has been sold as well. This is item number five, the Second Street Festival from 2027. Uh, that's right. If you want that, I mean, 2007, if you like that poster, just put item number five and sold. And the Second Street Festival poster for 2007 will be coming your way and signed by yours truly. Item number five and sold. And that poster will be coming your way and added to your collection. <laughs> That's right, y'all. Item number seven what is the Second Street Festival. This is the second poster I did for them. The Second Street Festival poster. This one is entitled uh, On the Main Stage. It is a the, the Second Street Festival poster for 2008. That's right, y'all. This one right here measures 22 by 26 inches. Again, you can frame it up to the, uh, uh, to the edge of the poster, or you can frame it all the way up to the edge if you like that style. Item number six is the Second Street Festival 2008 poster. If you like this poster, the Second Street Festival has held in Richmond, Virginia. Did that poster five years in a row. If you like that piece, just put item number six and sold. And this poster will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number seven. That's right, y'all. Item number seven. This is the third person that we did for the poster that done for the Second Street Festival in Richmond, Virginia. This one was the poster from 2009, the Second Street Festival 2009 poster. Again, it measures 22 by 26 inches. It normally sells for $40 for the day on Poncho Thaw number 92. You can have the Second Street Festival poster. And this comes signed by yours truly for just $25. We are having a special commemorative poster show today. Item number seven, if you like that piece, just put item number seven and sold, and the Second Street Festival poster will be coming your way. Hello, Shandra God, thank you for tuning in. And hey, Miss Carolyn Johnson, thank you for tuning in as well. We got more and more people coming into the room, and I'm going to welcome you all. Hopefully, our signal is strong enough today. We've been having some channel uh, some challenges with Wi-Fi, but I think we're doing okay for right now. Item number seven. Again, it's the Second Street Festival from 2009. If you want that poster, just put item number seven and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number eight is the fourth poster that we did for the Second Street Festival in Richmond, Virginia. 
This piece was in 2010. That's right, y'all. We were in a whole different direction on the image this particular time. But this is uh, these all make a very, very nice series. If you want to get all five of them, they're all featured on the show. Item number eight is the Second Street Festival poster for 2010. Normally sells for $40. The size is 22 by 29 and three quarter inches. Nice size poster, nice size image. Got two different ways you can frame that. If you like that piece, just put item number eight and sold. And the Second Street Festival poster for 2010 will be coming your way and added to your collection. Hey, I hope you guys that just tuned in, you might have to wait till the rerun to see that we release the calendar for 2024 this year on this show. Item number two, you might have to go back and check it out a little later on. Remember, we will be taking orders from this show up till Sunday. So if you see something you like, just put it in the comment stream and I should catch it and it will be coming your way. This is item number nine, the fifth poster that I did for the Second Street Festival. That's right, we did the poster five years in a row. That's very uncommon for an artist to get a poster for one event for five consecutive years. But hey, been blessed. That was a wonderful opportunity for me. This was the 2011 poster for Second Street Festival. If you like that piece, just put item number nine, the Second Street Festival poster for 2011. Normally sells for $40. It measures 22 by 29 and three quarter inches. Nice size print. If you like that piece, just put item number nine and sold in the Second Street Festival poster will be coming your way and added to your collection. That's right, y'all. This is a suite of five different pieces. Hopefully you can grab one of them, but that makes a nice series if you are collecting to collect all five of those. Item number nine, again, it's the Second Street Festival poster from 2011. If you like that piece, just put item number nine and sold. And that particular piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 10 is a piece that we did for the West Oak Lane Jazz Festival back in the day from Philadelphia. This was the first poster we did for them called Jazz on Oaklands Avenue. This is part of a, a, I think we did three events for them, if I'm not mistaken. Jazz on Oaklands Avenue is uh, one of my other jazz pieces. We've got a different feel to it than some of the other pieces that we did for the Second Street Festival. That's the whole goal is to give everybody a different flavor. Jazz on Oaklands Avenue is item number 10. This was from 2005. If you like this piece, it measures 22 by 26 inches, normally sells for $40. But today on Punch and Thunder number 92, you can have this piece for just $25. Any of the pieces in this section, you can have for $25. Sign yours truly. If you like this piece, just put item number 10 and sold. And the Jazz on Oakland Avenue poster will be coming your way as we show you commemorative posters that I've done for different organizations all over the United States. Uh, these are collectible items that can be framed uh, to the edge or can be framed into the image, depending on your liking. Item number 10 is the Jazz on Ogons Avenue poster. This is the first piece I did for them out of three pieces, but I think we only have two. You might have all two of them on the show. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. We're going to check it out. Item number 10 like that piece just put item number 10 and sold and jazz on old guys avenue will become part of your collection item number 11. this is the second poster that i did for the west oak lane jazz and arts festival this was from 2008. these commemorative posters are all collectible all men condition will come signed by yours truly if you like item number 11 this piece measures 22 by 26 inches Normally sells for forty dollars, but today on Poncho Thon number ninety-two, you can have the West Oakland Jazz and Arts Festival poster from twenty o eight for just twenty-five dollars. If you like that piece, just put item number eleven and sold, and that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. So 
those of you just tuning in and you don't know what the rules and regulations of the show, here we go. Hey, you know, many of you probably have never seen my science fiction artwork, but back in the day, just before I started doing the kind of work that I'm doing today, I was heavily influenced by science fiction and fantasy. Here's a small section of the sci-fi pieces. you thought you seen all of my artwork i keep on surprising you that's some stuff from back in the day you're talking about the 1980s when i was doing that type of artwork back to the show item number 11 again with the west oak lane jazz and arts festival if you like that piece number 11 you can have that piece today on punchathon number 92 for just 25 dollars. if you like that piece just put item number 11 and sold and that piece will be added to your collection item number 12 Item number 12 is a piece we did for the African American Cultural Festival of Raleigh uh, Raleigh and Wake County. Say that title. This was a poster from 2013. This was the official poster for the show. All of these posters that we're showing for these events were the official posters for each one of those events. This piece right here is a, a piece that measures about um, 20, I think this is 23 by 26 and quarter inches normally it sells for $40, item number 12. Now, for today on Poncho Don number 92 is available for just $25. All of these pieces come signed by yours truly. These are collector's items. These are commemorative posters. You can even fit into the edge or the image. If you like this piece, just put item number 12 and sold. That's right. The title of the piece is called The Culture Keepers. If you like that piece, just put item number 12 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 13. This piece right here was done for the Maryland uh, Western Maryland Blues Festival. It's the adaptation of another piece that I did, but it was the poster for 2016. Uh, we uh, did, a, they did a line of clothing and all kinds of other things with this image on it. This is a very, very popular poster. I may only have about two of these in the house. This is the Western Maryland Blues Fest from 2016. It only sells for $4. It measures 28 by 18 inches. But today on Punch of Thorn number 92, you can have one of the two posters for just $25. If you like this piece, just put item number 13 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 14. 
This one is a piece we call, and try to say this one. This is the Summer Music Moves Jazz and Dance Festival poster from 2019. That's right, this is a festival that was held in the Baltimore, Maryland area. Item number 14. If you like that piece, it measures uh, 23 by 26 and three quarter inches. It's normally about 40 bucks today on Poncho Thon number 92. You can have this special commemorative poster for just 20 five dollars that's right we did a special cross section of our commemorative posters for the day hopefully you enjoy some of these pieces these are all collectible items these are all commemorative posters these are all in mint condition they all come signed by yours truly item number 14 if you like that piece just put item number 14 and sold and that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection Item number 15, as we roll into some limited edition images, is titled Nemyanka. Nemyanka was done for a dance troupe here in the Baltimore area. Uh, they use this piece as a fundraising piece for their organization. Item number 15 is called Nemyanka. That's right, y'all. If you like this piece and you want a nice little liturgical dance piece, this could be a really nice piece, uh, depending on where you hang it. Item number 15. Uh, this is going to be the artist proof. You know, last week we sold some artist proofs to some popular limited edition pieces. We're following suit this week as well. But Poncho is an artist proof. Well, you know, normally when they release an edition of prints, there is a uh, typically 10 to 15 percent of an edition is reserved for the artist. That means it's a separate edition outside of the numbered edition. OK, in addition to the sign of numbered edition, the artist usually selects a, a specified number of inventory either they're, they're per, for, for their personal use. So that, that I know that a selection of pieces outside of the edition that was printed, uh, they would put a different designation on it, which is the A slash P. Those tend to sell for a little more than the other edition because they are probably less. In the case of my most of my editions, they're 850 for a certain number edition, and the artist proofs are 100 in the edition. So this is a great opportunity to even see an artist proof because that's something that you don't normally see in galleries. Uh, this is the artist proof to Namyanka. If you like that piece, it normally sells for $200. It measures 22 by 28 inches, but today on Poncho Thon number 92, you can have Namyanka for just $100. If you like that piece, just put item number 15 and sold, and Namyanka will be yours and add it to your collection. Item number 15 and sold. Item number 16. It's a piece called Sister's Journey. Uh, we showed the artist last week. This is the actual print. It was done for a breast cancer survivorship organization in uh, New Haven, Connecticut. This was the first piece of two that I've done for them over uh, a decade. Uh, they got to do a second piece a decade later. This one is entitled Sister's Journey. Uh, as you can see, the ribbon, the pink ribbon in the middle of the piece. Uh, this is the artist proof to Sister's Journey, which normally sells for $300. That's right, y'all. You got somebody as a survivor. This is a great gift to give them. Measures 22 by 30 inches. It normally sells for $300 today on Poncho Thon number 92. You can have an artist proof of Sister's Journey for $150 if you want that piece and you want to add it to your collection. Just put item number 16, and this artist proof will be coming your way. Item number 17. We show this piece from time to time, but we have not shown the artist proof. This is the measure of a man artist proof. It measures 22 by 29 inches. Uh, that's right, y'all. 22 by 29 inches. It normally sells for $300. $300 today on Punch of Thun 92. You can have this piece for just $150 if you want. The artist proof to the measure of a man. Just put item number 16 and sold, and this piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. That's right. Y'all. We give me a chance to get some collectible pieces that we don't normally get a chance to see or that you may not get a chance to see in galleries. Um, gives you a chance to uh, take advantage of the lower edition numbers that we do. And uh, so hopefully you enjoy the, the selection of pieces. We've got a couple more available to you. But first, 
I want to show you a poncho. What is in your personal art collection? Well, here you go. Item number 18, y'all. That's right, y'all. We are moving through the show. Uh, I got every now and then I get some pieces that um that really are collectible pieces because there are very few of them around. I'm gonna check into the uh uh the, the limelight here. I've got Khabibi Ajanku. Hey, how you doing? Thank you for checking into the show today, Mr. Boa Richardson from Philly. What's happening? Philly representing. That's right, y'all. Do you hang your art or is it put away for safekeeping? Most of my pieces are put away. They are flat filed. They are not framed in on the wall. I would say that only a small percentage of my pieces, because you know everybody's got limited wall space. So most of my collection is flat fileable, and I've been collecting that way for the past decade or so. Uh, very good question. If you have any other questions concerning my collection or anything else is being shown on the show, this is a great place for you to put it on there and we can talk about it. Uh, item number 18 uh, is a special piece for the show today. This is probably the best deal of the day. Uh, as you can imagine, when Michael Jackson came out with Smooth Criminal, the world went crazy over the video. And I was heavily inspired because I was already working on a dance piece to create this piece called Bop. Bop, uh, in this case, item number 18, uh, we only have two of these available because this piece was one of many casualties of my studio fire of 1995. I just had to have had quite a few of them later uh, that were given to me from the person that actually published them with me. This piece is entitled Bop. This is probably the best deal of the day. Item number 18. Bop is uh, measures 23 by 32 inches and it is valued at 500 dollars five hundred dollars but on poncho thon number 92 
you can get this piece bop and we only had two of them available for 250 dollars if you'd like to have a older piece that's a little more rare than some of the pieces that we've shown so far on the show you can order item number 18 bop that's right if you like that piece just put item number 18 and sold and this piece will be yours for $250, regularly $500 on Poncho Thon number 92. If you like that piece, just put item 18 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Hey, there's my man William Jones checking in. He says he's late but present. That's right, Jay. William Jones checks in just about every show. I might have to come up with a prize for folks to check in for every show. Item number 18, if you like that piece, just put item number 18 and sold. Our best deal of the day is Bop from uh, my dance series item 18 and sold and that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection hey y'all we got quite a few people that are tuning into the show today i uh, thank you all for taking the time to come by to visit us we're here every wednesday at 7 p.m and we'll be here every wednesday and if we do do a break we will announce the breaks but we'll probably run straight through august item number 18 again and sold and that piece will be coming your way item number 20. This piece right here was done for uh, uh, some of the faith organizations in the Baltimore region. We have one piece that we use for multiple fundraisers. This piece right here is a really nice size piece. This is the artist proof. That's right, of Window of Faith. The artist proof sells for $300. It measures 27 by 36 and a half inches. That is a very, very, very nice size piece. If you need a piece that's going over a sofa, over a mantle, this would be it. If you want something a little spiritual, this is it. It's for my stained glass. Item number 19. If you like this piece, just put Window of Faith AP, the number 19, and sold. And that piece will be coming to you and added to your collection. Item number 19 is Windows of Faith, the artist proof. If you like that artist proof, just put item number 19 and sold. And then it'll be added to your collection. Item number 20. We break this out every now and then part of my Black Angel series. This was the second installment, Heaven Sent will being the first part of it. This piece right here is item number 20. It's entitled The Guardian, The Artist Proof. We are selling the artist proof on the show today. That piece generally sells for $500. It measures 27 by 30 inches. This is another deal uh, in the show today, y'all, of a piece that is a little value to it. Item number 20, if you like that piece, item number 20, again, it measures um, 27 by 30 inches. So it's a pretty substantial size piece. It normally sells for $500 of the day. On Poncho Thon, this is the probably the biggest deal of the day. You got the Guardian Artist Proof for $200. If you like that piece, just put item number 20 and sold. And Guardians, the artist proof, will be coming your way for just $200. We only have a couple of those available for the show, but item number 20 and sold, and that piece will be added to your collection and will be coming your way. That's right, y'all. So you know, normally when we do the show, we try to come up with some pieces that are uh, some original pieces. And, uh, you know, normally we try to do some pieces that I think will add, uh, a, maybe I'll give you a chance to get some entry level collecting in, give you a chance to start looking up and, and collecting some, um, some, some more um, original items. Uh, so on our show, on the end, we always show about four or five small original pieces, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what we have available in the studio. So before we do that, we normally do a countdown on the show. Uh, if you'd like to see these pieces, these are some of the original works that are available for the original portion of the show. Here is the countdown. <music> Item number 21 is a ink drawing entitled, I Continue. These pieces are all from my sketch journals or small originals that I have that have not been shown much. Uh, they're in my sketchbooks here in the studio. 
This piece right here measures nine by 12. It normally sells for $300, but this is the perfect entry level original. If you want to venture down that path, this is item number 21. If you like this piece, just put item number 21 and sold. And I continue the original will be coming your way and will be added to your collection. Item number 21 and sold and that original will be coming part your way and added to your collection. Item number 21 and sold and that piece will be yours for woo, $200, normally $350. To find an original in the $200 range is very, very rare but we're trying to introduce you to some other pieces to upgrade your, co your collections at home. Item number 21 and sold, and that original will be coming your way. Item number 22. This is a ink and watercolor study from one of my sketchbooks. It's called She, Her, Hers. She, Her, Hers. You know, we're all wrapped up in pronouns now. This piece right here is named in honor of that. This is the original piece. It's a smaller piece. It measures nine by 12 inches. It normally would sell for $400. Today on Python number 92, you can get she, her, hers, the original for just $200. If you like that piece, just put, that's right, y'all, the number 22 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 22 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way. Item number 23 is an oddity, is what I call it. Every now and then, I am commissioned to do some pieces for clients. In this case, I had a person approach me about doing the Obama logo. And I was like, ah, I don't want to do an Obama logo. But uh, I ended up doing three different versions of which he bought two of them. And this is the one that was left over. For those of you that are enthusiasts in collecting uh, presidential stuff, this might be a great original for you to buy and put in your collection. This piece is the Obama's Reflections, Obama Reflections, item number 23. If you want a little piece of memorabilia uh, done by yours truly, just put item number 23 and sold. This piece would normally sell for $600. It measures eight and a half by 11. But today on Poncho Thon number 92, you can have Obama Reflections for $300. If you like that piece, just put item number 23 and sold. And that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. Item number 24. This piece right here is entitled Creations, the original. It's done in acrylic on paper. It measures eight and a half by 11. I think it's more like eight and a half by 10. This particular piece would sell normally for $700. Now, when I give these prices, these are prices that are straight from my sketchbooks. Um, there are pieces that have not been framed, that have been not been matted, have not been put on the open market, so the prices are a little lower. By the time I invest framing and matting glass and all that and prepare them for shows, they will sometimes go up, sometimes twice in price. Item number 24 is Creation, the original. It normally would sell for $700, but today you can have item number 24 for just... $350. That's right. I'll be keeping the prices low for you. Item number 24 is $350. If you like that piece, just put item number 24 in sold. And creation, the original, will be added to your collection. Item number 25. I was in a tropical mood when I created this piece. This is called On the Sunny Side. On the Sunny Side, the original. This piece measures eight and a half by 10. It normally would sell for $700. Uh, today on Pancho Thon number 92, you can get this piece for just, that's right, y'all, $350. If you like this piece, just put item number 25 
and salt and that piece will be coming your way and added to your collection. I like all the tropical colors I used in this piece. It's had a lot of magentas and greens and yellows, and it's even painted with a, a floral pattern in the background of it. Uh, it's a mixed media piece with some color pencils, some, uh, some watercolor, some, some graphite, a little bit of everything. If you like this piece, number 25, just put item number 25 and sold, and that piece will be coming your way and add it to your collection. And we have a bonus piece on the show, item number 26. This piece right here is titled The Truth Principle. The original is a smaller piece, eight and a half by 11. This piece would normally sell for $800. It's done in acrylic and ink. Uh, what's really good about this piece is it's a spontaneous creation. When I do these pieces, I start off with no drawing. I just use ink and a brush I start putting items down and adding things and adding things, added, and then they turn into their own story. This piece, item number 24, is an excellent entry-level original of mine if you'd like to add something unique to your collection. Item number 26 is called The Truth Principle. The original normally sells for $800 and which is eight and a half by 11. Today, you can have this piece for just $400. That's right, y'all. If you like this piece, just put item number 26 and sold. And this piece will be coming your way. That's right, y'all. That's what we got. We got a full menu of 26 pieces. And we released our calendar today. want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, for those of you that have never been to Baltimore, I'm just going to play this right here so you can take a chance to see my city at night in case you ever venture down this way. That's right, y'all. The night view of my city from my cap from my helicopter. <laughs> That's right. We want to thank you all for tuning in today on this special, special hump day. Uh, that was our 26 item menu for this weekend. We're going to dig around in the studio and come up with another event next week. Hey, we I miss uh Dr. Mary Waller. We got you. We will take this piece, and that piece belongs to you. Uh, hey, Miss Carol Gray, until next time, see you later. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we got folks that are chiming up. Best crab cakes in any city. That's right, Kenneth Gatewood. That's why you, when you come in town, brother, I got you. I got you. I know where the number one spot is. That's right, y'all. So hopefully you got a chance to enjoy seeing my city at night. Uh, and, I, and I hope you enjoyed the show. We hope to see you again next weekend. But until then, y'all, love y'all. Hang in there. Uh, do something nice for somebody else. And until then, I will see you on the next show where we will have another item, a menu of 25 items. Again, I'll see you next Wednesday. Love you much. Oh.